and today we are going to visit Austria. So for the Austria, do you know where does this country lies? Can you repeat the question, ma'am? Do you know where does this country lies in world map? The location of the country? No, ma'am. Okay, so here you can see a picture of a world map and here is this one, the red highlighted area. This is the country Austria. So Austria, which is also called as officially the Republic of Austria, it is a landlocked East Alpine country in the southern part of the Central Europe. So here, this is the Europe and it lies in the central southern part of the Europe. So this country is basically dominated with the like where, uh, like west and south by the mountains. So here you can see the map of Austria. So can you tell me some of the neighboring countries of Austria? Himanwith, would you like to add? Can you tell me some neighboring countries? Okay, I'll tell you. Here, this one is the Germany. It is the neighboring country of the Austria. Here, can you see the Switzerland here? So Germany, yeah. Switzerland and Italy and Slovenia, Croatia, Czech Republic. So these are a few uh, neighboring countries of Austria. Now okay. moving on. Yes. Okay. So moving on to the flag of Austria. So as you can see, so can you tell me the colors of Australia, Austrian flag? Yes, ma'am. Red, yeah. white, and red. Yes. So as you have mentioned that the Austrian flag, it consists of three vertical bands. So it is, it is like two being the red and one being the white in the middle. So the red color, it is associated with the love among the people and the open-mindedness and the war and the supremacy, which is signifying the strength and the bravery of the people of Austria. Okay, so moving on to the capital. So the capital of Austria is Vienna. Here you can see a few beautiful images of this place, Vienna. Now, talking about the largest city. So, Vienna is also the capital as well as the largest city of Austria. It covers the land area around 414.6 kilometers squares. So Vienna is the largest as well as the capital city of Austria. Now, moving on to the language. So the official language of Austria is Germany. Now, talking about the population. So population here, around 8.86 million people are living in country Austria. Okay, so now we'll talk about the dress or the traditional fashion of Austria. So here you can see the image. So if I talk about the costume of women, so the attire is basically called as Jindal. So here you can see the images of uh, the attire of women. So this, uh, the attire actually consists of a, com a body course which is combined with an apron and a, it is of a different color. So this could be sometimes sleeveless, uh, sleeveless and this can be worn with the cotton and the lace blouse. And if I talk about the men's dress, uh, men's dress it is man's traditional clothing which is made from the leather and the liner and the wool. So they wear uh, knee-length pants. Can you see this? 
so they are wearing knee length pants so it is called as lederhosen the knee length pant which men wear these are actually the short trousers and they also wear jackets and they and uh, their hats they can wear these hats can vary according to the region as well as the occasion now talking about the national animal so black eagle is the national animal of austria and the national flower is edelweiss flower so have you seen this flower before anywhere no ma'am okay so this is usually found in this place and the name of this flower is edelweiss flower it is the national flower of austria okay so now we'll talk about the government so the government of austria is the executive cabinet of the republic of austria it is composed of the chancellor who is the head of the government then the vice chancellor and the ministers so if i talk about this chancellor so the chancellor of austria is sebastian kurz he is the chancellor of austria now currency so can anybody tell me the currency of austria any answers can you see the image dollars. not the dollars can you see the Your, this is euros euros yes yes absolutely correct so the currency of austria is euro okay so now we will talk about few sports which are highly played at this place so the first one is the association football then the second sport is the alpine skiing or the downhill skiing then the next is the ice hockey so these three are the major sports which are played in austria then now we will talk about the climate so the climate of austria can be classified as the climate being a warm tempered humid climate with the warmest month lower than 72 degrees fahrenheit and the climate of the mountainous region of austria it can be classified as a humid snow climate with the warmest month between the 50 to 72 degrees fahrenheit okay so we'll talk about the wildlife of austria so can you tell me a few animals which you can see on the screen deer ma'am okay next few more can you see owl. the eagle owl. yeah yes yes deer yeah Okay. Eagle. Yes. So eagle, as I mentioned, eagle is the national animal of this country. Black eagle. Yeah, black eagle. Exactly. So this country also has wide range of uh, wildlife. It includes like a uh, deer, stag, and the uh, rabbit, and many other animals. Like polar bear. yeah squirrel yes so now we'll move on to the cuisine part so we'll discover the food okay so coming on to the first one so the dish the people of austria has it consists of a spicy cheese bread So the name of the dish is lipto. I don't know the exact pronunciation. So this dish is exactly it is eaten with a slice of a bread. So coming on to the next is the rendesap. This is the beef soup. This is actually a clear soup with the golden color. Then the people also eat pancakes. 
So these are similar to the French crepes, which is filled with the jam and the sugar is sprinkled on the dish. And it is also served in savory version, like with, it is served with the spinach or it is served with the cheese. So the food um, maxim, yes. Yes, if somebody wants to say something. No, ma'am. Okay. Okay, so we'll we watch one amazing video as well after this presentation. So now we'll talk about the airline industry. So can you guess the national airlines of Austria? Any idea or any guess? No, ma'am. Okay. So Austrian Airlines is the national airlines of Austria. Okay. So we'll talk a few more on this. So Australian Airlines, which is shortened to the Austrian. This is the national airlines of Austria. And this airlines was awarded but as the World Airlines Award in 2019, it was given a top ranking in the renowned uh, Skytrax World Airlines Award in 2019. As Austria's national career, it won the world title in the category of Best Premium Economy Class on Board Catering. So Austrian Airlines improved its overall ranking and it moved up one place to the 15th position. Okay, so that was all about the presentation part. Now we will watch an amazing video. So are you excited? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Superb. I, I was thinking to show to my parents and uh, I got that we should go there. Oh, wow. So, you can definitely grow that. And this that is really uh, lake they showed in, and that color was so beautiful. Yeah. Okay. And the okay. green was so much more than India has. The greenness. That's great. Okay. So, what about Satwik? Do you like the video? Yes, ma'am. That's great. So, do you remember uh, the... National animal of Austria? Black eagle, ma'am. Black eagle. Yes, yes, correct. And do you remember the capital? Or the largest city of Austria? Quick, quick, quick. Any idea, any idea? Ma'am, I think me. the capital. Yeah, what's the capital? Yes, yes. Yes, Matthew, you can correct. It's Vienna. Okay. So, who's going to tell me the currency of Austria? Europe. It's Euro. Yeah. Okay. So, did you enjoy today's tour? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay. So, I asked you to search about some facts. So, have you done that? Anyone? Okay, that's fine. That's completely fine. Okay. So, do you remember the national flower of Austria? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Red, red, red color, red color, white color, red color. Red color. Yes. And what about the flower, the national flower? Ma'am, it looks like one. Yes, Satvik. It looks white. Yeah. Do you remember the name? It, it will come something as Edwell's flower. Yes, yes, yes. You are very close. It's Edelweiss flower. Okay. Yeah. So tomorrow we will be visiting Canada. Now so, I love Canada. Yeah. So excited for that too? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any task? 
yes you have to search about some beautiful places you can visit in canada okay should we write that in the book ma'am yes you can write that in the book okay all right so that was all about our today's tour to the austria tomorrow we will be visiting canada so okay. i hope you all enjoyed today ma'am the first time i joined this tour class yeah i liked it oh wow that's great first i thought i i was going to take on the usually okay there was some uh, flag uh, on my shirt all right I wondered what it was then my okay. mom told then she joined me to this world tour class okay okay so uh, you are enjoying it right yes ma'am that's really great and you are yes, learning ma as well yeah yes. ma'am actually uh it was a dream to go to uh, go in flight for me and uh, you made it as a real flight oh that's really great to know thank you so much so would you yes, like to invite your friends to this tour okay yeah yes. you can invite your friends as well so that they can enjoy with you as well okay okay ma'am okay so that was all about our today's tour we will visit canada tomorrow ma'am so yes i i have so many friends can i call come again i have many friends can i call yeah yeah definitely definitely if you enjoy this tour you can definitely refer this to your friends and they can also enjoy the tour one minute ma'am Okay. Okay, so thank you everyone. Thank you for joining the tour. We will meet tomorrow at the same time and we will visit Canada. Okay ma'am. Bye ma'am. Have a good Bye, day. Bye everyone. Have a good day. Bye ma'am. Bye ma'am. Ma Have a good day. Bye.